so check this out guys, this is really cool. Um, the Louvre, back in 1200, was just a little castle thing that they used to defend, you know, France, various parts of France. And then in 1589 they added this sort of palisade wall and some other exterior bits. 1789, they had added it around. That's really super neat. It was it was fully enclosed back in 1870, and then they opened up the pavilion, I guess, today. Aujourd'hui means today. So you can check it out. This is original um, stone work from, I guess, previous formats. The Louvre. That is amazing. All right. Just wanted to check that out. But I think because it is cool. It's very, very nice. Okay, we're back. Sorry, it was just temporary. Uh, get the original stonework. This would be cool for like rock climbing. Obviously, you can't do it because it's super old and. They want to maintain all the work, keeping it as close to its original state as they can. <clears throat> Wonder if they just left this here and built around it? Because it, it kind of looks like it hasn't been moved. I would assume it hasn't been moved. Zoom I can zoom. That's got some crazy good zoom. But it's real, it's real precise. You gotta be careful with it. Okay. So this shows where we are, at least relative to kind of what it is. So this, these are like um, tur turrets, I guess. Palisade, palisade turret areas where you can shoot arrows down or guns or whatever. Uh, so this ground level two that house maybe I like it <clears throat> palisade walls somehow not been super damaged uh, looks like they've had to fill in it's like trebuchet cannon so yeah, so like you have really nice blocks here and, they, and they've had to like patch it in because I guess cannon, cannon fire or trebuchet stones. Trebuchet then. Is that a well? What is that? Cool. What's with this? Okay. So clarification, uh, this was the moat, actually, walking through the moat, sort of been filled with water before. So uh, that's actually really, really cool. I don't have a lot of stuff going on. in the in, in the way <laughs> you get in there for the, for the picture so I could edit in I 
This goes into the other area. Put some gargoyles there. Actually, I think we're standing where the moat would be. This is Castle Wall anyway. They've like filled in all of this area, obviously, for the museum segment. And there's the Sphinx right there. Sphinxy Sphinx, which we'll go take a closer look at here in a moment. Hmm. Burns up. That's why. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. What a cool, cool diorama. And it lights up relative to total touchscreen and the change. What it shows as far as the building. Medieval new play. And you've got. Uh, shows all the buildings and such. Interactive diorama. What's wrong with that? And of course, there's some lovely artwork. As per usual, here in the room. Let me tell you guys something. This is a cool place. This is a super cool place, and I am having a blast. <laughs> Buildings and castles and <laughs> eagle. Hope all know. And that's all. Is that in that's lit interiorly? We just, we just got some grubs. We're outside of the Louvre on our way, checking out the sweet park. Hey. This is a cool, like, statue arc thing there. What's up? Oh, okay. Here it is. Glass, the glass pyramid. There's the Here, wait, Nash. We can come back Eiffel somewhere. Tower in the distance there. I want to go over there and walk around and then That's come back out here when we want to leave. Very, very cool. Going over there for All right. We're going to get a little closer to the glass pyramid and take some more shots. And we will be back. All right. Welcome back. We're at the upper part of the Louvre. Good Lord, it is so hot out here. It's unbelievable. So you got the two little tiny diamonds and then the big one right there made of glass and steel. 
aluminum or some such stuff. It's actually a very sturdy way to build things. <coughs> Pyramid shape. Albeit not always the most spatially efficient. Okay. Uh, of what? All on that. So, so it is, so it is, ladies and gentlemen. We are now a little bit closer because we got the diamonds there and there. Uh, some very nice fountains. And uh, amazingly cool carvings of like artists. And such. <coughs> Here is the great big diamond that leaks, looks down into the fancy, fancy Louvre shops. But I think we're going towards this arc thing as well. We'll get a better, a better look at. Oh man, this looks good right here. Quite a, quite a distance. We're in the lovely shade. Where it's like 15 degrees cooler. Uh, fabulous. 